Um, well, first of all, I'd like to start with that too. And what a great atmosphere. And, and again, this is my second uh, kids game here at Pitt. Uh, obviously we did one down in Central Florida too. And I just love the energy. I love the excitement of the game. Uh, and to give those kids a chance to experience Pitt, see this awesome facility and um, get a chance to watch uh, our kids play and perform. And so uh, for that, I'm really thankful for uh, all the people that made it happen, all their hard work all year long uh, to make sure that we get as many schools as we can and um, that uh, it's a great event. And uh, so kudos to all of those people and I really appreciate their efforts. Um, and then to the game, um, uh, again, like I've said, I feel like a broken record of just, we're continuing to learn and grow and, um, and again, that urgency piece of how hard you have to play all the time and you've got to walk on the court every time you play ready to play your best. And we want to fill it out and see what they can do. And, um, and, and as we learn to prepare this group, I think we've got to do a better job of really putting that in play. And now once we prepare, then they got to go out and execute from the time the, the uh, jump happens in through that. But, but again, great, some great individual performances. And uh, again, Bug didn't shoot as well, but still to get to the free throw line, hit some jumpers, do some of that stuff is really big for us. Uh, and then what our freshmen continue to do, um, AB getting 12 defensive boards, um, Amy Hayford, her stat line, and uh, I think she was uh, provided us a lot of energy today that really helps us and become a better basketball team. And then I thought Day in the second half really ignited, and she was more of what she's got to be for us to be really good. But but yeah, we're growing, learning, and uh, what questions y'all got for all of us? Lance, you playing Amber here 35 minutes? fifth game or something like that. I mean, is that something you thought was going to happen? Or have you been sort of impressed by what she's been able to do so far? And, and has she earned those those minutes? Yeah, no. Uh, you know, and uh, again, I was just looking down, too, to see how many bucks played. You don't pay 35 or 36, probably. 30, so. Yeah, 36. <laughs> um, but, and again, it's been Bug and I, I have talked all along about how I'm trying to keep her under 35. And uh, so far, I've only done it once. <laughs> and um, uh, But... But AB is, I, I think those two players um, have um, really, during practice every day, their consistency of what they bring to us has been exactly the same. I know what I can count on. I know what I can get from them. And, um, and again, AB, the way she plays, the style of play is what will be in the future. And, you know, and so whenever I recruited her, um, she's what I call my prototype body and the way she's relentless, she's a huge, one of the most competitive players on our team, and she earns the minutes she gets. Uh, I really struggle to get her off the floor, and, um, and, and I need her not to have to play that many minutes because even in those minutes, she can't perform as well as she can in having to extend herself that long, but, but it's hard to get her off the floor. Amber, what do you think has led to your ability to just sort of pick up the intensity, the physicality of the Division One game right away? Um, I would be the practices, but Coach uh, White, when he was recruiting me, he already told me, like, what I was getting myself into. This is the toughest, like, conference. This would be, like, at this level of Division One, it's the toughest. So I kind of prepared in the summer, and I prepare every day for it. You are – I mean, you're six foot tall. That's not, like, huge for Division One standards, but you seem like you're a pretty fearless rebounder. What, is that something that you've always had? Is it something you had to – to learn at some point along the way? Uh, no, I kind of just go get the ball off the basket. Because <laughs> if I get it, then my team has it. So. <laughs> Again, it goes back to that competitive nature. She wants it. <laughs> what, what gives you, what gives you the, the sort of the energy, the motor, to play these kind of minutes and to play that kind of style for those kind of minutes? Um, I like playing fast and just getting the ball off the rim. But um, I like playing, so like, and I want my team to win. So if I have to stay in for us to win, I'm okay with that. Yeah, and Amber too has been, you know, uh, she's been a two guard for us, three, a four, and a five. <laughs> Today she was the five, you know. And so, and again, for a freshman to have to learn that many positions, it's really credit to her and her ability to 
because I rarely, I, I want freshmen to know what they are doing. And, and with her, I haven't had that luxury, and she's had to now go do this spot at AB, go get down there and make something happen, and, 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 and she's handled it. She comes and she's like, okay, all right. And, and it's been a huge credit to her, and that's why I can leave her on the floor as long as I can. Uh, the defensive adjustment from the zone to more of a man look in the second half. How did you feel about that? Were you kind of happy with how the zone went in the first half? Of the uh, you know, no. <laughs> That's a no with the zone in the first half. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, and, uh, and again, we've, um, again, having so many new players is that this has been um, uh, by our coaches of trying to limit things that if we try to teach everything man zone traps to – you know, is that we're not going to be good at anything. Obviously, it's taking longer in our zone than what I would have hoped and thought that we would be better at this point than, than it is. And so we had to get out of it and go man. And, and I thought our kids on the fly with little practice um, uh, did pretty well. And, you know, and I, I think we're going to have to incorporate that and be able to um, uh, add that to it. But, but, again, with young kids and not – having played for us and uh, having very few that have um, gone through the rigors of Division One basketball um, besides Bug and uh, Kara, um, it takes time. And, you know, whenever they start running their motion and back cuts and we're not ready for some of those uh, different actions, again, the zone, we have to get better and um, we have to uh, really – lock into what we're trying to do and 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 again it's a lot of it still is on the offensive end is if shots don't go then it's hard for us to focus and really lock in defensively and we got to change that is that what you really want to be your primary defensive focus is the zone yeah yeah no we'd love to be able to that be our primary focus and then mix in a bunch of traps and been able to extend that out and do that and, and again it's just taking us longer in practice to get the reps we need with people playing multiple spots and, and, again, having so many freshmen. And then in, toward the end of the game, it looked like they actually went to a zone. How do you think your team responded offensively to that? Uh, you know, it slowed us down, you know, and I think we were on that uh, pretty good run and uh, uh, made some really good plays, and, and so they had to shift the momentum, and uh, and, and I thought it worked. You know, I, I thought we took some ill-advised shots, and um, uh, it forced us to kind of stagnate a little bit, and. Um, and so, um, uh, and that had been something in er earlier games that we had done pretty well against zones and uh, with Central Florida. And, you know, some of those I thought we moved the ball pretty well and we got a little, and we'd been working on man stuff a lot more here in the last couple of weeks. And so um, it is, it's, uh, and again, having a young team, anything kind of throws us off a little bit. And we're not just consistent enough to know and just keep that engine running. It takes us a little bit to figure it out and, go to the next and adjustments are hard. AJ, you played in a number of these games, been here for, for a bunch of them. What was it? Hundred games, games, right? Is this your hundred game? Hundred and one. Hundred and one. Oh, wow, that's amazing. It's crazy. Specifically <laughs> this one though where you have the, the kids here. What does it mean to be able to uh, you know be a role model for somebody to, to you know give back to, to kids uh, in that way? Um it's probably one of my favorite games every year. Um even when I wasn't playing. It's just a great environment. Um they're cheering no matter what's going on. So, you know, it's just it's, it's great energy, um, and I'm glad we get to do this every year. Amber, your first time, what was your reaction? <laughs> I was like, oh, it's a lot of people. <laughs> These kids are screaming. I liked it, though. I enjoyed it. It was fun. And at the end when we do, like, our little fifth quarter, I really enjoyed that because they kept telling me good game and stuff and that they'll be back. Lance, well, you know, obviously you're trying to build something with this program on the court, and you have a – a lot that you're focused on with a lot of young players, but how much do you kind of uh, appreciate the big picture of a day like today where you have uh, 8,000 know, potential future uh, Pitt women's basketball fans in the building? Uh, you know, it's so cool. And that's, you know, before the game, I, you know, I talked to the, uh, our players about, you know, there's little kids that woke up this morning and put on their best Pitt stuff and just were so excited about getting to come onto our campus and, and see them play and what a responsibility that is. And uh, how you know we do have a responsibility. We have a responsibility to go out there and play hard, interact with them because they are those kids are looking up to our players, and a lot of them want to be our players. And and so that's um, I, I do I, I feel the 
huge responsibility for our players to um, be role models in this community and uh, you know in Fort Pitt and so so it is it's really a, a cool atmosphere fear cool environment for us to get to play in.